The much-awaited ruling on the arrest and extradition of activist Walter Barasa has been pushed to the 31st of this month, pending an ex parte hearing of an application by Interior Secretary Joseph Olelenku. In the hearing scheduled for Monday next week before High Court Judge Richard Mwongo, the AG will present his arguments on the warrant issued by the ICC judges. I direct as follows. The notice of motion filed on 11th December 2013 be placed before Lenaola J for consideration and or further directions. To the mention before Lanaola to be on 28th January 2014. Welcoming the ruling, Barasa through his lawyer Kibe Mungai, however, expressed reservations on what he termed as the one-sided nature of the hearing, stating that his client needed to express his views. Once Mr. Barasa has filed a petition, he's entitled to have it heard. The respondents and the interested parties are, of course, entitled to the responses. That's why those rules were made. And they can raise all these issues. And during that particular period, the court will be able to decide. But my lord, it is my submission <coughs> that in informal proceedings, <coughs> such as this one, because that's what it is to be entitled to. The petition today is not coming for directions. At least that is what I understand my landed sister Miss Munji to be saying. But if in those proceedings, Mr. Kamula and Mr. Nderi were to be permitted to come and say, and before they've put any responses, that this petition is similar to the other one, That would not only, first of all, be disrespect to the petition and his advocates, but it would create a judicial circus. Mungai says Kenyan courts have the capacity to try Barasa and argues that the Kenyan cases in The Hague are unconstitutional since the crimes were committed when Kenya was not a Rome Statute member. The SEC did not apply in Kenya. There's a fundamental basis. There's a Rome Statute. If the Rome Statute had no application in Kenya, in 0708, it follows of necessity that the proceedings against the interested parties pending before the ICC are both unconstitutional and against the Rome Statute itself, and therefore the actual warrant issued by the ICC Against Mr. Barasa. Barasa is accused of seeking to influence three prosecution witnesses to withdraw their statements in the Crimes Against Humanity case facing Deputy President William Ruto. I'm Olive Barros for Capital TV.